Hi, I'm Indanam, and welcome to my quick review of Teenage Engineering's official roll-up bag thingy. Let's get into it. So this comes in either yellow or grey, but I don't know, I just really liked how the yellow looked, so that's the one I got. Front and centre, we've got the classic Teenage Engineering logo. A lot of Velcro inside. You've got this random product info. A lot of useless text, I guess, but I don't know, hate to admit it, but I think it looks kind of cool and quirky on this thing. Um, just because there's not that much you can do to decorate a PVC plastic case like this. So, I don't know, that's at least something to look at if you're bored. So, why does this roll up and have all this Velcro? Well, that's because it's designed to be folded in a couple different ways. So, firstly is with just the OPZ, you can slide that into the bottom and then one, two, there you go. That's in a nice neat little package there. And the other way is designed to use as a bit more of a bigger bag like this uh, so you can fit a few extra OPZ accessories in there. So let's have a test and see how much junk we can fit in here. Let's try a pocket operator, some headphones, and a charging cable. Because in some of the images there, they had the pocket operator there, so may as well put that to the test. Be a bit worried that the pocket operator might scratch the OPZ in here, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's pretty evident that you can fit cables in pretty easily. I mean, there's a pocket operator in here at the moment now, but I don't know, it's, it's sticking out a bit. I don't, know. I don't know if I'd trust him in there alone with my OPZ. Maybe if I had one of those cases for the pocket operator, it'd be a bit uh, nicer to put in there, but this has so many like little sharp bits that like, I think it defeats the purpose a little bit. But for cables, it works perfectly fine. Now, I wouldn't usually review a product smell, but this has a pretty strong plasticky smell, um, but not in a bad way. It's not a disgusting smell or anything. I guess it kind of smells like a beach ball. I don't know. I'm not gonna sniff it on camera, just take my word for it. And the material itself, I mean, it's pretty thin, but when you've got your OPZ folded over in its short fold, you know, there's a little bit of protection there. So these go for about 30 Aussie dollars. It's not too expensive, which is good, but it does seem like a pretty cheaply made product, even for its price. What it is perfect for, ask for it for your birthday or Christmas when you're stuck for <laughs> ideas of what your friends and family can get for you, which is what I did. And that way you don't feel ripped off and you can uh, enjoy it for what it is. It is the cheapest official case, and while it wouldn't protect very much from fall damage, it'll probably protect from other objects scratching it in a backpack. But then again, the box the OPZ comes in originally, like that has padding and stuff, so that would probably have a do a better job at that anyway. So I give this product a kind of unnecessary, but also kind of cool, out of five. Oh yeah, it's also velocity sensitive. So basically, it's a better product than the OPZ itself.